Hello students, welcome to Edupedia World Videos. My topic for the presentation is 5th section of the chapter Transport and Plants. In this section of the video, we will be discussing about the vascular tissue system. Students, the human body, it requires a circulatory system for balance and survival and so do plant bodies. But while we are usually pretty familiar with our own arteries and veins, we just tend out or tend to tune out when it comes to plant vessels. So plant vascular tissue system is what distributes water and nutrients to different parts of a plant. Vascular system, they are made up of xylem and phloem and that is called as vascular tissue. Students, not all plants have vascular tissue. Algae don't need it since they are immersed in their source of nutrition and hydration. And mosses, they don't have vascular tissue either. Water and other materials move throughout these plants by diffusion. So this is the major reason they don't grow to be very tall. Higher plants, gymnosperms and angiosperms, they do have vascular tissue. Okay, so vascular tissue is a tissue that is associated with conduction in plants such as xylem and phloem. And then comes vascular plant. A plant with highly developed conducting tissue is called as vascular plants. And vascular plants, they are called as tracheophytes. And the main function of uh, vascular tissue is conduction. Obviously, conduction of water, mineral and food material. And the additional function of vascular tissue system is to provide mechanical support. For example, secondary xylem. Secondary xylem, it increases the girth of a plant body. Okay. I have already taught you about uh, secondary xylem in detail in the chapter Anatomy of the Flowering Plant. You can refer to that presentation for better understanding. Okay. Now, uh, organization of vascular tissue in a stem. First is vascular bundle. Vascular bundle wherein xylem and phloem they are grouped together to form the vascular bundle. So this is one entity wherein xylem and phloem they are grouped together and they are grouped together with the cambium. Okay. Then comes cambium. Cambium cells can divide to give rise to new xylem and phloem tissue hence thickening of the stem. That means thickening of the stem takes place because of the cambium. Then comes spit. As you can see, this is the vascular bundle and these vascular bundles, they are arranged in the form of... So the vascular bundle, when they are arranged in a ring and that surrounds a central region, which we call it as pith. So this region is called as pith, which serves as a storage tissue for food substances. Then comes cortex. Cortex it is the region between vascular bundle and epidermis is cortex, which also serves as a storage tissue for food substances. Then comes epidermis. Epidermal cells they are covered with a layer of wax which we call it as cuticle. Cuticle uh, significance of cuticle is to prevent excessive loss of water from stem. Okay so this was the organization of vascular tissue in stem wherein vascular bundles are found, cambium, pith, cortex and epidermis are found in a stem. Now we'll talk about the organization of vascular tissue and roots. In root, vascular tissue that is xylem and phloem they are not bundled together unlike a stem. Okay, as I have just shown you in diagrammatic uh, representation. So in root, vascular tissue that is xylem and phloem they are not bundled together. They alternate with each other. See this is phloem, this is xylem, this is again phloem, this is xylem so they are in the form of alternate patches okay so this is phloem this is xylem now we'll talk about the cortex cortex is a region between epidermis and endodermis that lies uh, in the cortex and which serves as a storage tissue see this is the endodermis and this is the epidermis so the region between epidermis and endodermis is called as cortex which serves as a storage tissue okay then comes piliferous layer the epidermis of a root it bears the root hair which we call it as piliferous layer so these are the 
tubular outgrowths of our epidermal cells. See, these are the epidermal cells and these are the outgrowths of our epidermal cells and thus we call it as root hairs and this layer is called as piliferous layer and each root hair is a tubular outgrowth of an epidermal cell okay so let's see organization of vascular tissue in root it has root hair which we call it as piliferous layer cortex which acts as a storage organ for storing food material then comes vascular tissue which is phloem and xylem which are which are in the alternate or which are arranged in an alternate fashion now students question arises what is vascular tissue vascular tissue it is composed of two type of tissues first is xylem and phloem xylem it is used for the conduction of water and mineral and phloem it is used for the conduction of food xylem and phloem they are complex tissues why they are called as complex tissue because they are they consist of more than two type of cells then uh, see this is uh, xylem where uh, it conducts uh, water and mineral and there is no end wall between the cells can you see the end wall between the cells no see this is the one cell and this is another cell can you see the end wall between these two cells no and only one way transportation takes place and outer cells are not living see this uh, cells they are dead okay now this is phloem it conducts organic molecule unlike xylem it has end wall which we call it as sieve plates this is two way movement that means it can go from down to upside and from upside to downside and cells are living but they need support students vascular tissue it is derived from prokaryote vascular tissue is, it is also called as vascular bundle or they are also called as vascular strand or vascular cylinder so don't get confused with it according to the arrangement of xylem and phloem they are of three basic types which are those first is radial second is conjoined and third is concentric first we'll talk about the radial vascular bundle xylem and phloem they are radially arranged in form of separate bundles on different radii let's see how it is see this is xylem which is arranged in a form of one radii and this is phloem which is arranged in the form of separate bundle on different radii so this is xylem pink one and this is phloem okay this is the transverse section of a root where uh, xylem and phloem they are radially arranged in the form of separate bundles in different radii see this is xylem phloem xylem phloem they are arranged in different radii and it is found in roots now we'll talk about the second vascular bundle and that is conjoined wherein xylem and phloem they are present on the same radius they are called as collateral vascular bundle wherein xylem is present inside or it is oriented inside and phloem is oriented outside see this is xylem this is phloem and this is cambium and it is seen in dicot stem see this is xylem this is phloem and inside or uh, the region between xylem and phloem is called as cambium okay and it is found in dicot stem this is xylem this is phloem but no cambium is formed and it is seen in monocot stem see xylem is this phloem is this and no cambium is found hence it is seen in monocot stem the students cambium is present that's why it is called as conjoined collateral open type open type because it has cambium in it whereas it is called as conjoined collateral closed type ccc triple c and double c o conjoined collateral closed why because cambium is not present by collateral vascular bundle wherein phloem is oriented outside xylem is oriented in the middle and phloem is uh, again oriented inside so xylem is uh, sandwiched between phloem and phloem so this is xylem and these two are phloem so this is phloem this is phloem and this is xylem and this is cambium 
and it is seen in transverse section of stem so this is xylem phloem and phloem okay and this is outer cambium this is inner cambium and this vascular bundle is always open type because it has cambium present between xylem and phloem and it is seen in cucurbitaceae family then comes third vascular bundle or third type of a vascular bundle and that is concentric vascular bundle one type of vascular tissue is surrounded by another see this is xylem this is phloem and this is called as hadrocentric concentric vascular bundle and it is also called as amphicribral and it is seen in transverse section of stem see this is xylem and outside or it surrounds phloem and it is seen in fun then comes another concentric vascular bundle wherein phloem is oriented inside and phloem oh sorry xylem it surrounds the phloem and this is called as leptocentric or amphi vessel concentric vascular bundle and it is seen in transverse section of stem seen in yucca okay so hadrocentric or amphicribral is seen in fern and leptocentric amphi vessel concentric vascular bundle is seen in yucca this vascular bundle is always closed because no cambium is present when cambium is present then that is called as open type so this was uh, all about it in my next section of the presentation that is sixth section of the chapter transport and plants we will be discussing about the xylem and its type so till then stay tuned and keep watching it be world videos thank you